Well, some fun is happening on Sunday. Steam on the quad at Ohio State at Lima. And joining us today to tell us more about what we can do on campus on Sunday, we've got Assistant Professor of Biology at OSU Lima, Rob Bigley. Thanks for coming today. Thanks so much for having me again. I always enjoy coming on. All right. It's fun to talk about this kind of stuff, right? Because STEAM is exciting stuff, right? I mean, if people don't realize what that stands for, it's it's really finding uh, exciting areas. Oh yeah, so STEAM is one of those like acronyms that's grown out of the STEM acronym, which people tend to be a little more familiar with. So science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And on our campus, what we like to do is we like to bring in our friends in the humanities and arts. So we have STEAM, we have science, technology, art, uh, education, arts, and mathematics. Right, so all of it can come together and, and be a fun time, right? So tell us about the event on Sunday, what it'll be like. Sure, absolutely. So it's really an event that's targeting sort of our families in the area. We have activities that are aimed mostly towards a little bit of a littler one. So anywhere between K, you know, kindergarten kids up to about eighth grade. Um, and these are really going to be a lot of hands-on stations. So it's going to be, you're going to be able to walk up and you're going to be able to do things like, you know, building out a car and testing how it works and learn a little bit about physics along the way. Or, you know, learning how books are bound and getting into the arts and how sciences and arts interact. So it's really something that we think that all of our local families in the whole area would love to come out and you know it's free too which yeah, is always exactly. a benefit <laughs> certainly is well i mean it just the kids have fun but it also gets their minds thinking and working and being on the campus is that important too oh absolutely so a lot of times i think people you know especially if they're going to be the first in their family to go to college have kind of this nebulous idea of you know what they've seen on sitcoms or something <laughs> right. of what a college campus looks like and i think being there and really seeing what it's like and getting to interact with some of our students who volunteer at the event can be you know really good to point out that hey please consider coming OSU Lima when it is your turn to go to college. <laughs> right, exactly. Do the students enjoy doing this? Because I assume some of them, you know, are volunteering, like you said, in, in areas that they also enjoy. Oh, absolutely. So we have a lot of our education students come, and this is a really great chance for them to get to interact with students who they may have in their own classroom someday. And, you know, a lot of our clubs work pretty hard to have really cool activities that they think kids are going to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And some from the community are also part of this, right? Because you were, you were wanting people who wanted to interact and give some good projects, right? Oh, absolutely. We've got a lot of really cool uh, companies throughout the region coming in. So uh, Charles River is actually helping us to sponsor the event this year, and they're going to have a couple of really exciting activities. And we've also got 4-H, which co-sponsors the event with OSU Lima, and they, have, they always have just amazing, such a blast activities. We've also got the, Astro uh, yeah, the Astronomy Society coming this year, and I'm really looking forward to seeing their booth. Right, yeah, excited because there's exciting stuff coming in the skies pretty soon, so get people excited about that. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, exactly. All right, so uh, if you want to come, do you need to register ahead of time? So we would love it if people could register ahead of time. Just gives us a heads up on how many people to expect and, you know, the family sizes and all of that. Uh, but you can also register on the day of. So if you've been, you know, waffling a little bit about and you want to wait and see, please come on out anyway. We have, you know, computers ready to get you registered and, you know, come even win a door prize from visiting all of our tables. Ooh, okay, all right. And it is Sunday 1 to 4. And Let's not talk about it, but just in case it's rain, you guys have a plan, right? Yes, we're hoping to move things inside, so we'll be making a decision on the morning of. But whether it's a sunny day or not, please come on out. We will have all the tables set up, rain or shine, so we hope to see everybody there. Do you think it's a really important project for OSU to have this team on the quad and, and to get this organized and done? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that, you know, we are, you know, a place of education, and sometimes people ignore that the community is a place that needs to be educated, too. So this is, you know, one of the things that we look forward to every year to, you know, open it up, get people thinking about us and, you know, really do some service for our community. Right, yeah. Sounds like a fun day. Thank you very much for telling us about Thank it. Thank you. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.